Gentlemen, what if I told you that there's a kind of orgasm you haven't experienced yet? That the way that you've been orgasming is not the only way that you can experience orgasms. If you have ever found yourself looking at a woman going clitoral, G spot, A spot, PA spot, all the different amazing orgasms that women can have and thought, man, I wish I could have just like at least one other kind of orgasm or maybe some kind of delicious sexual joy and feel goodness that I haven't had yet. Boy, am I so excited to share this with you. I'm so excited to share this video with you because in this video right here, you are about to learn about a kind of sexual pleasure and delight that you likely have not experienced yet. And I am so glad that I could be the one to share it with you. My name is Caitlin V and I am a sex coach for men. My specialty is premature ejaculation, but I also work and have worked with literally hundreds of men one-on-one -on -one and thousands more. And if you count YouTube, literally millions of men to help them have the best sex of their life. And I am super passionate about your sexuality. I'm super passionate about you having amazing sex and you being a great lover and you being able to not just have great sex for yourself, but bring great sex to a partner. If that sounds great to you, I would like you to subscribe to this channel and while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That helps your girl out, helps me continue to deliver awesome sauce videos like this one to you. <sighs> okay, this video is actually brought to you by popular demand. Y'all have been asking for it in the comments. And this is about the prostate and more specifically about prostate massage. Prostate is an important part of the male reproductive and Natalie contributes uh, Natalie? <laughs> a important part of the male reproductive and Natalie and let's just run with it. And Natalie, it is tucked between the bladder and the base of your penis, and it is where a lot of the fluids that make up ejaculate come from. And if you're familiar at all with prostates, you also should know that they are a tricky part of male health. There are many, many sexual dysfunctions and physical problems of the body, including prostatitis, having a swollen prostate, painful ejaculation, painful urine, and prostate cancer. And all of those things can help to be avoided by taking really great care of your prostate, by loving on your prostate, by treating it well, and by occasionally massaging it for your own benefit and for its benefit and for the overall benefit of your whole body and your sexual beingness. I digress, that's why, but you actually wanna know how. How do I stimulate this epic organ that is tucked deeply inside of my body and say I wanna have a great prostate massage or say I wanna have a non-ejaculatory orgasm, how might I make that happen? Well, I am here today to share with you exactly how to stimulate the prostate. If you've never tried it before, highly recommend that you try it at least once. That way, if you don't like it, whatever, you at least know what you were missing out on. All right, so your prostate is about the size, shape, and even consistency of a walnut. It's got a little bit of a hard, firm texture and a little bit of a like spongy, almost like ribbed texture to it. And the best way to actually reach it is through your anus. The reason for that is that you can actually reach the prostate through the perineum or the space between the testicles and the anus, but you have to push really, really hard because it's up in there. It's all the way at the root of your penis. So the best way to get there is through the anus. Now I know in and of itself, the thought of inserting something into your anus, whether that's your finger, partner fingers, or toys might feel uncomfortable to you. And I totally get that. So a couple things about the anus to keep in mind is that it's the second most nerve ending, jam packed pleasure potential spot on your body. Every single person has one. There's nothing gay, there's nothing wrong with being gay and there's nothing gay about anal play because anuses predate sexuality or gender orientation or anything. Like we all have anuses, we all have pleasure potential with our anuses. The anus is also really special because it actually marks one of the very few places on the body where the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system come together. You have two sphincters of your anus, one for each of those two nervous systems and when you actually insert something into the anus in a way that feels feels good and is consensual, both of those nervous systems actually do some magic and they come into sync together. That is why anal play has such a like 
intense soothing effect on the body. It can really help us to drop into our pleasure, drop into our body, kind of like forget that anything else is happening. And that's where all of the intensity of the pleasure of anal play comes from. So if you are new to anal play, go back into my channel and watch my other videos about how to approach inserting something into an anus because you're going to want to be familiar with that first. All right, second thing you've got to know about this walnut-y size shape thing inside of your anus is that it's way easier for someone else to get their fingers onto your prostate than it is for you to do it yourself. Or it's far easier for you to do it with a toy than it is for you to do it with your own fingers. And that's just because of where it's located. The prostate is located inside of the body and then towards the front of the body, towards the penis. So it can be between one and three inches, but if it's pretty deep in there, the way that you have to turn your own fingers makes it a little hard for you to stimulate your own prostate. And that is why it's easier to have a partner or a sex toy to do that for you. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do both. All right, so let's start with a partner. First of all, prep, make sure that you have lube available, make sure that they've either washed their hands or they have some gloves. I really love gloves because first of all, they make everything really, really smooth. They decrease the friction of skin. Number two, you can just take them off and put them by the side of the bed when you're done and that way you don't have to go wash your hands because there's nothing on your hands to wash off. So gloves or not, but make sure that their hands are clean before you start experimenting. So step number one is stroke your penis. Make yourself hard, erect, make your penis feel good. Do the things that you associate with sexual pleasure, satisfaction, and arousal until you're hard. You don't have to do this for any super long length of time. The point is just to get you aroused. I recommend getting yourself up to like about a level six out of 10 on the arousal spectrum. If you're not familiar with the arousal spectrum, check it out in my course, Come When You Want. I have a whole module on the arousal spectrum in there. Once you're about a six on the arousal spectrum, begin to play with anal insertion by using a lot of lube on your fingers and slowly making your way one finger at a time inside of your anus. There is literally no rush here. Take as much time as you need. Do not push anything or force anything because it doesn't do your body any good. We're going for pleasure here. And so if it's not pleasurable, take it more slowly, breathe more deeply, put on some music that you love, try to get out of your head as much as possible on, oh my God, my butt <laughs> and just take things really slowly, inserting up to one knuckle at a time then maybe down to a second knuckle, then pulling out and then putting in two fingers at the same time. Once fingers have been fully inserted, feel around for this firm walnut shaped organ that is close to the front of the body, on the way to the front of the body. So if the man is lying on his back, fingers are making this come here motion, aiming to up towards the penis, up towards the front of the body. As you're doing this, make sure you're continuing to stroke your cock or have your partner that's doing this massage stroke your cock to keep you aroused and to keep that familiar sensation that you already associate with arousal. This will help things feel less new and more familiar and more pleasurable because that's how your body's used to being pleasured. After you've located the prostate, begin to massage it. You can do so in a couple different ways. Number one, you can do a come here motion where you're putting pressure on the prostate and then releasing it off. Pressure on, releasing it off. You can do this rhythmically while stroking your cock or while your partner's stroking your cock. So stroking and pushing at the same time, releasing and relaxing at the same time. Second technique is the doorbell technique. Rest your finger on the prostate as if you were about to push a doorbell and then push up into the prostate. You can experiment with different lengths of time, different amounts of pressure in your push, but essentially you're just rising up into the prostate as if you were pushing a doorbell. Technique of number three is circling. With your fingers, make a circle and stimulate the outer edges of the prostate and then the center of the prostate. You can go and make little swirls around, experiment with different speeds of your fingers or different speeds of the circle. Number four is the simulated vibrator where you move your fingers as quickly as possible to create the sensation similar to a vibrator being inserted into the anus. Continue along with stroking all the way to 
orgasm. Now this is the most basic version of the prostate massage and you might already have the sense of this can be pretty tiring. Number one, it's next to impossible for you to do yourself. So if you're single or your partner doesn't wanna play with this, you can't use any of those techniques. Number two, for your partner's sake, it can be pretty tiring. This is a lot of wrist motion. You're gonna be extending your fingers and moving them. It can really feel tiring in the uh, forearm and even in the fingers. I know for myself, especially when it's a new sensation, when someone's not used to having their prostate massage, it can take a while to reach orgasm. And that's a lot of stroking and squeezing and doorbelling and vibrating. It can be pretty exhausting. And that is why I have teamed up with the amazing sex toy manufacturing company, Lelo, out of Sweden. They make one of my all-time favorite prostate massagers, which is this bad boy right here. This is the Hugo by Lelo. This end goes into the anus. This is like the equivalent of those fingers. But notice how it kind of stays in this come here direction, it puts constant pressure on the prostate. It's designed to hit the prostate exactly right and then stay there. But that's not it. This part presses along the perineum, stimulating the prostate from the outside. This part is in the anus, this part is up against the perineum, the testicles are right here, and then the cock flows out from here. Both of these ends have motors in them, which create a bunch of stimulation and pleasure for the person who is wearing that. And these two vibrators would have been enough. This would have already been a great, amazing, high-end prostate massager with just those two motors, and they could have let it go at that. But they didn't, because Lalo over-delivers. They actually made this into a couple's toy. And it doesn't really necessarily mean to be a couple's toy, but by including this remote, not only did they make it so that you don't have to fumble around and like hit the buttons when the thing is behind you and you can't see it, they also made it into something that couples can play with together. This little guy is way more powerful than it looks because not only does this turn on and off and increase the intensity or the pattern of the vibration, it also has a cool little trick where at this level, it vibrates at 10%. And if you rotate it, it actually rotates all the way up to 100%. So my partner can be wearing this and I can be playing with the amount of sensation and the amount of vibration that he is receiving just by turning this. Not just that, but this little puppy has a vibrator in it and a pretty strong one too. And so I can play with myself, use this as a clitoral vibrator, while this is inserted in him and vibrating his prostate. It makes it so that you can play in all kinds of different and unique ways and you can allow this to make you feel more connected and have more interesting, exciting, and novel play together. Not just that, but Lilo is also offering a discount on these right now, so please go into the description and take advantage of any offers that are available. I want to mention that yes, this one is pink, but that's only because the company couldn't send me one of the other colors, including black, that's more discreet, because they're running out of these so fast that they sent me a pink one. But you know what? It's gonna be in your butt. You're not gonna even notice about it. I mean, like colors is gonna be the last thing on your mind. Also, in case this size feels intimidating to you, I promise to you, you will be surprised pleasantly at how easily this fits into your body and how nice it is when it is resting there. It feels great. And this is the only part down here, the base. This is the only part that you'll really be feeling and it's very thin. I promise you, even for beginners, this is a great toy. And as I mentioned, this guy comes with a one year warranty. They really stand behind their products. I am a huge fan of Lalo and their toys. Please, please check them out. And thank you for them for sponsoring this video on Prostate Play. All right, well, that's it. That's all you need to know. I hope that this video has demystified the entire conversation around prostate massage. It doesn't need to be that complicated. There's no shame around it. And man, it is probably the fastest way for you to experience a different kind of sexual pleasure than you have ever experienced before. So please go out, try it, pick up a Lalo Hugo if you want some help and enjoy exploring your prostate. If you want more from me, please make sure that you are subscribed to this video and give me a like before you go. Thank you for tuning in. Mwah!